Um, a wise man once said, when justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous and fear to evildoers. Was anybody hit with a... This is shot fire, you got a shot fire. This is three seven nine. I have an officer down. You know, normally in the summertime when our population goes up, we see increases in numbers, but this is unusual. First up at 6 o'clock, local experts weigh in on what exactly could be driving up crime rates right here in our area. Myrtle Beach police are actively investigating several crimes. The holiday season kicked off with bullets and robberies here in Myrtle Beach. Police responded to two shootings between the 23rd and the 24th, which turned deadly just a day before Thanksgiving. Police are still searching for two suspects who robbed a family dollar and a Circle K, and the crimes didn't stop there. Just between the 24th and the, and the 28th, we are investigating more than 23. It was 23 calls, but in some of the incidents, there was more than one car that was broken in. Another shooting followed just days after, bringing a total of three shootings. Anytime that we have uh, an anticipated increase in call volume, we'll, we'll staff up for that. Um, but the one thing everyone can expect is that we're not going anywhere. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The police officers that work here are going to be out keeping you safe. Myrtle Beach 911, where's your emergency? Right here on Ocean Boulevard by the sky where we got um, two gang groups out here with guns. Where I'm talking to one of the gang things. One is in the parking lot by the sky wheel, and the other one is walking down, um, walking down by the gate door. It's a group of guys, and the other group of guys back there. One of the guys put out a gun. One group's in the parking lot. By oh, the they shoot! They're having a shootout, ma'am. They're having a shootout on the boulevard. Where at? Where at, sir? Right here on Joe White. They shooting somebody down. All right. How many people? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Sir, I, see, I need I see. you. To, no, I need you on the line. I don't know. They um. There's a group of a group of people. I see. I see one. The sky wheel. Someone's down. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, is one of the top tourist destinations on the east coast of the United States. The beaches, world-class golfing, tons of restaurants, activities, and southern charm make it a vacation city for more than 19 million annual visitors. In 2020, Myrtle Beach had a violent crime rate that was three times higher and a property crime rate that was four and a half times higher than the national average. And based on FBI's most recent crime reporting numbers, Myrtle Beach comes in in the number three spot for the most dangerous city in America. Shocking? Yes, but something that you may want to keep in mind when you go there. But the question is, is Myrtle Beach safe to visit for you and your family? And statistically, the answer to that is no. Now do keep in mind, this whole thing is inflated by the amount of tourists that Myrtle Beach gets. Now, officially, they have 35,000 residents, but they get, like I said, 19 million visitors annually. So because of that, those crime rates are naturally elevated. But nonetheless, they do happen there. Now, if we look at the report, the most dangerous cities include Muskegon Heights, Michigan, Tukvila, Washington, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Memphis, Tennessee, and then Little Rock, Arkansas. So the cities that you would think would have the highest crime rate based on the news coverage, like New York, Chicago, or LA, you know, they didn't even break the top 30. It's kind of crazy. Although Detroit did make number 11. But if you really think about it, out of all of the cities in America, Myrtle Beach rated number three in the most dangerous. And if you're looking for more details about all of the stats that I'm showing you, I will link the articles in the description of this video right below the like button. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on my latest videos. So what really gives here? Is it really that bad? Well, let's take a look at some numbers and see what's going on. And after that, I'll give you my own experience and of course the do's and don'ts, some of the things that you should watch out for when you're visiting down there with your family. So according to the Neighborhood Scout, as you can see, the overall crime rate for violent crimes in Myrtle Beach was 11.9 per 1,000 residents compared to 5.1 per 1,000 for the state of, um, of South Carolina. So your chance of becoming a victim of a violent crime in Myrtle Beach are 1 in 83, as opposed to 1 in 196 in the rest of the state. Now the violent crime rates in Myrtle Beach compared to the average crime rates through the US are broken down by a whole bunch of different things right over here as you can see on the chart. But generally speaking, Myrtle Beach crime rates are a lot higher than the United States crime rates on average. 
The overall crime rate in Myrtle Beach for property crimes was 112 per 1,000 compared to 29 per 1,000 for the rest of that state. So your chances of becoming a victim you know, in property crime in Myrtle Beach is one in nine as opposed to 134 for the rest of the state. And the crime rates for property crimes in Myrtle Beach as compared to the average for the US are broken down right over here. And generally speaking, as you can see, they're a way more than double the theft over here. That is nine times higher than the average for the entire United States. That is pretty crazy. When you look at just the crime numbers, there is a high risk of getting pickpocketed. The 2019 FBI statistics show that there's almost one in 10 chance of being a victim of a larceny or theft when you're down there. That's an incredibly high number. So make sure to watch, you know, to watch your pockets and all of your stuff. Now, when you add in the tourism numbers, that average is cut more than half. So it's still a very high number, but it's a bit more comforting if you really think about it. Like I said, the tourists definitely boost the crime numbers. It's not just the locals. The area also has a medium mugging risk. So especially since they're, the theft numbers are so high, a simple theft could easily escalate to a violent crime, especially in an area where there are lots of alcohol and partying. So keep that in mind. There's also a medium risk of being scammed, so keep that in mind. You might have a bunch of people pretending to be out of gas and they need to get home. You know, don't give out any personal information. Do not flash any cash around. You know, make sure you don't show that when you're in that area. So personally, I never really found myself to be in any kind of danger, but at the same time, I'm a male, I'm 6'4", and I never really walk around too much at night and, you know, do any kind of dangerous stuff. But all in all, Myrtle Beach did have some hairy situations. During the day, you generally speaking, you're safe if you stay to the touristy areas and don't go, you know, off the beaten path, so to speak. There are definitely things around and there was some police presence. To be honest with you, not as much as I would have liked, especially, you know, being there on Labor Day weekend and etc. There were things that I saw on the boardwalk that were really kind of shocking i should say there were people recreational drug use right on the boardwalk i'm not talking about the smoking kind i'm talking about the needle kind not even kidding you people were cooking stuff up right on the boardwalk i was shocked when i walked by but you know kids around etc nobody cared which was really weird i've never seen that before i was really shocked but and there, there were a few other things there and here but generally speaking the area was pretty safe but like i said i didn't really see a lot of police presence if someone like that could just openly do this right on the boardwalk where there were tourists around, there's definitely not a lot of cops around. And that's one of the things, like I said, I noticed all over the place. There were guards, lots of armed guards there and here. But generally speaking, like I said, if you stay there during the day and you don't go off the beaten path, if you stay in the tourist areas, you're safe. Like the boardwalk, Broadway at the beach, you know, the aquarium or any of those places, like you should be good and you shouldn't really have any issues. But like I said, I would still be very, very mindful and keep your eye open for whatever comes your way, especially when it comes to pickpocketing, etc. Don't leave things in the car if you're gonna park it somewhere. You know, you gotta make sure you watch out for things like that. And I would avoid areas at night, to be honest with you. In fact, some of the tips that people give you for Myrtle Beach, like we just said, you want to avoid walking anywhere alone at night. If you wanna see the water at night, stay on the boardwalk and avoid the beach. Generally speaking, the beach is not patrolled by the police. Now the boardwalk is. So again, you wanna stay on the boardwalk. You don't generally speaking, wanna go close to the beach at night. It's dark in there, you can't see, and there is no cops. You want to stay safe in the foot traffic of tourist sections of town, especially at night, like we talked about. The city is always expanding and growing, but you wanna stay in the touristy areas. It's worth noting that Myrtle Beach police have the aggressive plan to crack down on crime. I did read a bunch about that. So they do have added police officers apparently each year for a whole bunch of things that are going on. So hopefully that gets better and better, but generally speaking, you, you wanna watch your back at night. So after looking at all of the numbers and the statistics, you can see that generally speaking, Myrtle Beach is a safe area as long as you keep yourself smart and stay away from trouble. Make sure that you stay in the tourist path. Don't go anywhere at night and you'll be good to go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.